Welcome back guys this is question 51 and here we have to determine the minimum POS expression for the function in table 4.17 okay so here in the form of this truth table we are given some function and uh, we have to find the minimum POS expression okay so uh, let me write it here the minimum product of some expression okay so this is what this is the topic of today's lecture okay so i have to find out it okay so what will be what are the steps here so the steps will remain the same here i have four variables so first of all i have to draw the corn of map for these four variables so the corn of map for the four variables let me draw them here okay so this will be the corner of map and here i will have a b here c d okay and writing all the combinations bit combinations here so 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 for a b and for c d 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 okay now drawing all the cells here what i will have so this these are the cells okay so now these are all the cells so now this is a corner of map what is the next step here i have to find out all the inputs for which the output is zero and writing this zero at those bit combinations okay so the first bit here is this zero 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 so here the output is zero so let me write here zero as well so here this is zero similarly uh, this input for which the output is also zero so zero zero one one is uh, here okay i have to write zero here as well zero 100 is here as well so 0 1 double 0 i have to write 0 here as well uh, 0 1 0 1 here so 0 here as well okay uh, this one here for which the output is 0 so 1 double 0 1 so 1 uh, double 0 1 is here okay uh, so this is 1 double zero one similarly here this one one zero double one so one zero double one is here okay and the last one here is this one where triple one zero we have so triple one zero is here okay all the other terms will be ones okay so this is the same table which we have seen in our previous question okay uh, what i have to do here i have to draw the um of map here by using the same procedure but here as we have the uh, product of the sum or pos so pos so what i have to do i have to make groups of these zeros so this is a first group okay and uh, this is basically the second group what i have okay uh, this is the third group okay this is a fourth group we can see that this is one is the fourth group and this cannot be combined with anyone so this is the last one okay uh, so first let me write the combinations for this one so here i can see that uh, the constant terms are here a and c d so as these are all zeros so what i have to do i have to write a plus c plus d so the sum of them is zero okay so this is now here similarly the other group is this so let me write for them we can see that this is the same row for it so zero one will remain the same so here i have to write a and complement b because this is one here okay so it is complemented and the other term which is constant here is this c so i have to write here c as well okay so a b complement plus c is here uh, similarly uh, the other term here is this one so i can see that one zero is constant so uh, making a complemented and uh, be writing the same one and similarly this uh, d is also constant we can see that in uh, moving from this 
column to here this uh, d is constant now and which is one so therefore i have to complement it as well so this one is here and also here uh, in between this and this i can see that this is the same row and uh, in this row the only constant terms uh, this is basically the same column and here in this column we have c complement plus d complement because both of them are ones and similarly the other constant term is this b so this b is already zero so therefore making it as well um, writing it as it is uh, similarly this zero is alone and there is no uh, uh, group no zero which can be grouped together with it to make it twos or fours uh, of zeros so therefore this writing the bit combination for it i will have a complement plus b complement because this is the same row and one zero for it for the cd and c complement plus d okay so this is basically the combination what we have okay so these are all the product of some forms so uh, uh, these are all the sums so writing them in the form of the product so let me first write this one what i will have here i will have a plus b complement plus c this is the first product okay uh, similarly now the second one is this a plus c plus d so a plus c plus d okay and uh, after it what i have to write the uh, after it i have to write this one this is a complement plus b plus d complement okay and the next is here b plus c complement b plus c complement plus d complement okay and the last term here is i can see that there are five terms so one two three four five okay so the last term let me write it here so the last term is here so a complement plus b complement plus c complement plus d okay so this these are basically the product of these summation terms so therefore this is what this is the product of some form for the truth table which we have here and this is the minimized or minimum uh, form for the pos expression okay so that's in so that's it for today in which we have seen all the steps which are involved in finding the minimum pos expression for the four variable karnoff map okay so uh, i will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. Take care of yourself.